Alright guys, this is my review of the USB port, the backup camera option, and the, uh, the nav with the um, voice recognition. So let's just go in the USB. I have an 8 gig flash drive hooked up to the USB. Um, a note is that uh, you can take a 500 gigabyte uh, external hard drive format to FAT32 and it'll recognize the hard drive so you have plenty of space. Um, it takes uh, maybe a minute to read everything. You'll see a percent load, but after the percent loads, uh, you're inside the USB. It's just like a regular computer. So I, I have uh, two MP3s and an AVI file on here, and uh, let's, I'm just gonna play a song. What you notice is that it actually went from a small screen to a big screen, and this is automatic. So once it's like this. It'll pop and expand to a widescreen. Just gotta wait and see it do it. Alright, so I'm gonna go in the back. I'm gonna uh, pull the gear into reverse, and you'll notice that the everything is disabled, and the only thing that you can see is just the camera. And then when you get back, it's back to where it is. You'll notice that the music didn't stop where it was, it just got muted, and all the controls um, got disabled. So we're gonna wait until it pops up like that again. All right. So let's go into um, video and 13 ghosts. It's a 13 ghosts ABI. Um, what what I really like what I really like about this is that you can put folders on the left side and open it. So say you have an artist that you really like, you know, put all the music in there and just open that up and uh, open that up on the right side and you're able to scan through your music pretty quickly. So let's just play. You can either tap on the screen to make it bigger or uh, it'll do it by itself. So if I tapped on this, it's bigger. Or if I tap it again, it's got to go small. Sound quality is pretty good. So let's just, um, just pause this. Go to music. All right, now let's go to nav. You'll notice that the music's still playing while I'm in nav. Or what you can do is you can go to picture in picture. I don't know if you can see this, but it's the picture of the USB. I'm just gonna turn this off. All right. So um, the, the the sound quality for the the voice um, guidance is pretty good. So if I go to settings, um, sound, and if I just move this around, you can hear the lady talk. Have a nice, have, have a nice trip. Drive carefully. Have a nice trip. Drive carefully. Have a nice trip. Drive carefully. And it's got dynamic voice or volume, so if you go above a speed, it'll increase the volume. And um, overall, I'd have to say that the sound quality is up to par with uh, just the regular stock. Uh, sound system. I didn't hear notice any types of uh, static or uh, fluctuations in the sound. I uh, wired up my sub with uh, I have 212 competition subs in the back and I wired it up to the um, the base out of the original uh, stock E46 wire that was routed from the front to the back. I did not route my own wire which you can do since it has a sub out, but um, I, I routed that before, or I, like I wired this before I had this unit, and it's um, it works exactly the way. Um, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with it. So let's just go back to USB now. And I'll give you a, a close-up shot of the the screen. You can see on the right side we have the MP3s, and on the left side we have the the root of the flash drive, which is like I said again, you can add folders and then you just uh, access them. I don't know if I put this into it. Okay, I did make a folder right here. So, oh, uh, that's a basic review of it.